Hello and welcome to 2 Minute Design, I'm Dej and today we're gonna convert this photo of a brick wall into a beautiful 3D brick wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. So go ahead and download this photo from the link in the description and open it in Photoshop. Find the layers panel. Let's duplicate this layer using Ctrl or Command J. Turn off the visibility of the background layer. Activate the layer on top and go to Filter 3D Generate Bump Map. I'll set the lighting preset to Daylight, the blur to 8, the detail scale to 80% and then hit OK. This will create a blurry black and white version of my wall and we will use this version as a depth map which means that we're gonna tell Photoshop that the light areas are closer to the camera and the darker areas are further away. To do that find the 3D panel, if you can't see it just go to Window 3D, click Mesh from Depth Map, select Plane from this drop down menu and hit Create. Photoshop will ask you if you want to switch to the 3D workspace, hit yes. Now we're working in the 3D workspace and the depth map has been applied. On the bottom left corner of the screen, you can find these three tools. Click and drag on the first tool to orbit the 3D camera. And obviously we need to decrease the intensity of the depth map, so click on the wall, hover the cursor over the blue Z axis, and each axis has three values you can adjust. You can move, rotate, or scale. We want to scale the z-axis, so click and drag to the left. Now go back to these three icons and click and drag down on the third icon and you can see the depth of each brick. But it's still grey, so make sure our wall is activated from the layers panel. Go to the 3D panel, click on layer 1, which is the wall itself, and in the properties panel where it says diffuse, click this icon, choose edit texture and then hit OK. Now this is not the depth map, this is the texture itself, so we need to put our original wall photo right here. Let's go back to our 3D wall, activate the layers panel, and here is our original wall. Click and drag all the way to the texture tab, hold down the shift key to put it in the same position, and release the mouse. You can also add a new layer, paint something using the brush tool, and set its blending mode to multiply. Save this file, Control or command S, and go back to the 3D wall. And look at that. Isn't it awesome? By the way, activate the move tool and see this icon here? This is an infinite light. You can activate it and change its direction. Finally, you can click this button here in the properties panel to render the scene.